Previously on Minecraft Story Mode. Old friends come in and move out of life, while new friends show up to fill the spaces left behind. Yes. We might not like it, but eventually everyone learns that nothing can escape change forever. No matter how fraught with danger it may seem, the lure of adventure cannot be denied. Sometimes the danger itself is the pull. Some heroes just want to be the one to discover the next ancient secret, to wield strange new powers. This new threat was more personal than any that had come before, and the fight for their lives shook the foundation of everything they thought possible. But in the end, the town was saved. The heroes had won the day, and everyone could believe for just one moment that maybe things really hadn't changed at all. And then, that moment passed. <laughs> Jack's eye wasn't enough for it. I wish to speak with Jesse, the gauntlet bearer. What's going on? Where did it come from? Well, quit wishing, admin, because I'm right here. I know. That's why I was like looking right at you. Come, speak with me face to face. Oh boy. Admin? Have you ever heard of such a thing? Jesse? What's going on here? Gauntlet bearer? That is all rather suspicious, isn't it? No kidding. I don't like it. No, sir, I do not like it. Uh, here's the thing, everyone. He's calling me the gauntlet bearer because of this uh, gauntlet thing that I found. It won't come off, and I guess that makes me like his chosen one or something. Okay, so an admin, a huge colossus in our door. I'm all right with not freaking out. Yet? You're going to fix this, right, Jesse? You won't let it destroy Beacon Town, will you? Oh, I'm sure Jesse must have thought of something. I hope you're right. Don't worry, everyone. I'm gonna try talking to it. Okay. Diplomacy. Nice. That sounds good. <clears throat> I would like to proceed, Gauntlet Para. Do not test my patience. Guess you should get up there. Gauntlet bearer? Clay, coming your way! Thanks, Nell. Perfect. There you are, Jesse. I loved what you did with the Witherstorm. Awesome stuff. <laughs> this is going to be perfect. You've got the knack. Why, yes, thanks for noticing. Seriously, you're a natural. That's why I left you the gauntlet. You left it? to tempt you down to the Sea Temple. But now, your true test begins. It is time you no! fight. Fight me, champion, unless
Yes, you'd like to see that happen to your entire town. Who knows what I'll do next? <laughs> Flee, tiny beacon towners. Flee for your lives. Enough talk, let's fight. <clears throat> Hold on. Aha! Fighting in broad daylight is boring. Let's add some drama. Oh, he's powerful. Ah, so much for them. <laughs> Just you and me now, champion. Don't let them down. <laughs> <laughs> there. Not good, Jesse. Really not good. Beacon Town is gonna be like, like, one big smash fest to this guy. We need to help people. He's gonna break everything. Swords aren't gonna cut it. Ugh. What can we do? How about a bunch of obsidian walls? Structure block time. If you can cause a distraction, I can plant some of these guys. They'll help hold the city. One major distraction coming up. Go, Jesse! Hey, Stoneface! Over here! Yeah, that's right! Your courage is so much larger than your puny size. Ooh! Let's see how you deal with the enchanted deliciousness of this butter! I could pick my teeth with that blade. I'll take you down one block at a time! <laughs> oh. oh, thank you. Structure block against me. Look up. Uh, the, the, where's the structure block? Ha uh ha. -huh. Finders keepers. This tiny thing won't save you, Jesse. Not from me. Okay, this is a little intense, but I guess a giant colossus did follow me oh, home. Oh, hide and seek is beneath you, Jesse. The champion should be better than this. The Sea Temple had the same symbol. Good to see you 
too. Yes. What is that? Quick version, the admin, he like, built the world or something. Uh, Kay, are you all right? I mean, he really had you up there. Everything's still in one piece? Lucas, you just saved my life. Thank you. Of course. <laughs> I always wanted to ride into battle. <laughs> I sure hope you got an idea here. I saw a spot on the back of his head that yes, I'm hoping sir. might be the key to defeating him. You can't Sounds like I better keep him distracted forever. then. Thanks, Lucas. Be careful. Come now, Jesse. All this stalling is just making me angrier. Hey, Lockhead! You want Jesse? You need to go through me first. And I don't think you stand a chance. You're protecting Jesse. Oh, please. All these interruptions are becoming annoying. That ends now. Right. Let's see what you got. Yeah. Got in there. Yeah. I knew you'd come eventually. You don't know anything about me. <laughs> Where are you? Hey! Oh, I'm sorry. Sure would be a pity if... Oops. No! You're gonna wish you hadn't done that, Admin. Oh, boy. Do you really think you can defeat me, Jesse? I don't think... I know. <laughs> Confidence. The mark. Was really something. Stay behind me, Stampy! Ah, don't let the googlies taste me! Oh man, these are gonna keep coming in until we get the sun back up. Any idea how to use it? Could be super dangerous. How sure are you that this admin guy is gone? You 
make a compelling point, Lucas. My hand is still trapped in this freaky gauntlet. <sighs> yeah. Not to be a worrier, but he might not be as dead as we hope. I I'm worried enough for both of us. Someone should keep an eye on this thing. Yeah. I can take first watch. Actually... <clears throat> Actually... I'll volunteer. I want to help. Jesse, I'd say we both do it, but one of us should really get started on the repairs. It's a nice gesture, but maybe you should just let me handle it. Look, I promise. Then the minute I see anything out of the ordinary, I'm coming to get you as fast as my hustle sticks will carry me. My, my uh, my legs. Come on, Jesse, I can do this. Jesse's left me in charge before. This is a whole new level, though. All right, Radar. I officially bequeath on you the title of Clockmaster. Thank you, Jesse. I solemnly promise to uphold the duties of Clockmaster and to only use my powers for good. What? Well, yeah, good. That's good. So what are you going to do now? I figured I'd start with Ruben's memorial. Got pretty trashed. Oh, man. Oh, that's terrible. I'm so sorry. That admin just... No respect. I appreciate that. It feels pretty bad. We're gonna put the pieces back together, though. You'll see. And, um... <sighs> When I asked you what you're gonna do, I was actually talking about that glove of yours. So I gotta tell you, Jesse, this whole admin thing, it's... Well, it's very you, I guess, is what I'm saying. Well, I know you say you're trying to settle down and run Beacon Town, but... It just seems like you can't quit that life, you know? I mean, you don't exactly see Axel and Olivia getting mixed up in stuff like this. Well, maybe you're right. Well, today goes to show that the people will love you no matter what. I, uh... I didn't say any of that stuff to be mean. We've had a ton of adventures, and... I just want you to be happy. I mean, that's what that little pig wanted for all of us. Now go rebuild his monument. I promised Stampy and Stacy I'd help them get their houses fixed up. Sounds good. I'll see you later, Lucas. Okay, let's see what we can do for you, buddy.
There, now that is a monument fit for Reuben. I know I never met Robin. Reuben. Oh, right. Righteous. Oh, by the way, Petra was looking for you before. Over that away. Thanks, Nell. Come on, you remember Twisting Death Cavern? You couldn't even look at a bat for months, right? Oh, oh yes. Uh, they all just start to blur together after a while. Hey guys, Petra around? Heard she was looking for me. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, helping Nurm get some stuff, I think. Uh, she should be back in a second. Oh, uh, amazing work fighting that admin fellow, by the way. <laughs> just stunning. Yeah. I would have thought you'd been doing it your whole life. It was... artful. Oh, I can't take all the credit. You guys totally helped, too. Spare me the pity props, Jesse. Don't need them. Hey, it wasn't pity. I'm, I'm just saying I know I'm still getting used to fighting with only one eye. It's cool. I'm just glad my shop's all right. It's a little sad that the legendary Jack, the, the Iron Sword of Muji Lake, has been reduced to some uh, tour guide. Voss. 
That's why I think this adventure to Twisting Death Cavern is just what you need to... <coughs> Shut up. What you should continue to keep uh, just uh, talking about for someday uh, far off. Uh, yeah. Yeah, agreed. Love theoretical conversations. Oh, yeah. yes. Yes, quite. Okay, you two. What are you hiding? You're being weird. Oh, d d d nothing. Uh, yes, okay, fine. We have a new adventure planned. Hang on, hang on. I missed that last part. If we take that road, it goes through a swamp and a mesa biome? Hmm. Okay, okay, then it's settled. The earlier we leave, the better. Wait, you're leaving with these guys? Uh, yeah. And that's, uh, yeah. That's why we were, um, being weird before and, uh, you know, talking about, uh, you know, pos possible stuff. Were you even gonna tell me or were you just gonna sneak off? Of course I was gonna tell you. I was just working up to it. Slowly. Jesse, I promise I, I can explain. I just... Whoa, wait, what? It's impossible. This isn't a snow biome. The admin. The one and only. I had so much fun during our last little battle. Super epic. Just couldn't stay away. Wait, you're the admin? Well, that giant... Prismarine Colossus. <laughs> Just a construct. Rolled it up for the occasion. Pretty fun, right? I just thought it'd be a little easier to talk like this. It was kind of cuddly, right? Fighting a giant statue in the middle of town? Uh, okay, yeah, that was kind of cool. Ah, uh, see? I knew you'd know what I was talking about. See, you four went into my temple, back out alive. Heroes! You're perfect for my creations. Perfect! Where are you going with this? Got a new challenge for you. Trust me. You're gonna love it! Not again! You hear that? That's a diamond-class wave of doom and destruction headed right for town. <laughs> Pretty good, right? Been working on that one. You're insane! Hmm. You'll never get away with this. I know you have your plans or whatever, but leave my people out of it. They're innocent. <laughs> Innocent or incentive? I don't know. Seems like they've got you pretty motivated. Ahem. <clears throat> Your town will be trapped in eternal snowy night, forever plagued by deadly waves of mobs, until you recapture that clock. Which is where? I'm glad you asked. It's at the tippy top of my awesome, fantastic, super deadly, icy palace of despair. It's simple. Just follow the path. You can't miss it. Well, that sounds needlessly dangerous. Oh, it is. I mean, I don't want to brag, but it is, like, <laughs> really hard. You'll see. You're putting innocent people in danger just for your games? Yeah, well, technically, you're the one putting them in danger if you don't go after the clock. So... Why are you doing this? What do you want from us? Why? <laughs> Why? Well, because it's fun, obviously! I mean, this is gonna be epic! What? Oh, come on! Time to show this goon what the Skitaro Crag Jumpers do to town destroyers! <laughs> You think you've got it all figured out, don't you? Ah, strays. Pesky little consequence of eternal night. And <laughs> Beacon Town's new neighbors until you take care of that clock. Remember, find the clock, save the town. Bye-bye now. Ah, we need to protect the people. Run, hide everyone.
I've got a bad feeling more will be on the way soon. Guys? Jesse, I am so sorry. I, I was standing guard, watching it so close, but it just disappeared. I know. Now the situation is just gonna get worse until we get it back. Yeah, from his icy palace of despair, or whatever. Wherever you're going, I'm coming too. I was given the title and the power of Clockmaster. If it's to keep Beacon Town safe, I'll do anything. Really? Oh man, proud of you, Radar. Really? Of course! Well, I... I won't let you down. All right, everyone, we've got a clock to find. Can't let you come along on this one, old friend. Hmm. Mm. I promise, I will come back. Hmm. Mm hmm. You stay safe, Nurm, okay? Hmm. Is that thing gone? Yeah, for now. I mean, block this up after we leave, would you? On it. Yes, we will defend Beacon Town with our very lives. Thanks, guys. Bye, Nurm. Hmm. We're all counting on you. I wish I knew more about whatever their quest is. I don't mean to sound suspicious, but do we really think the admin is going to keep his word about this clock? Yeah, I don't exactly get a trustworthy vibe off of him. If he knows what's good for him, he better keep his deal. We get the clock, the town's freed from eternal darkness. And hey, if he doesn't stick to the deal, we'll just need to find another punchier way to convince him. Jesse, uh, can we, um, talk? I'll just walk a little more over here. Oh, uh, right. Uh, 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 me, me, me too. About that trip with Jack. I promise it's not like it seems. It's just a little trip. A little time away from Beacon Town. To... I don't know. Find myself? I just don't get it. Did I do something to make you angry? No, no, it's not about you. It's just something... something I need to do. I... I really am sorry that it happened this way. I, I was just so excited to be hanging out with real hardcore adventurers again. Especially because I was worried that you... that you didn't need me anymore. So you decide the best idea is to ditch me? Ugh. See, this is why it would have been so much easier if you hadn't found out like this. It's just... Everything's so different from when we first became friends. Everything's... changed. Lucas, Axel, Olivia, they all changed too. They found what made them happy. Their thing. But me? I still haven't found mine. Do you know how hard that is? How, how that feels? Your thing is that you help your friends. You're the best friend I've ever had, Petra. Yeah, I, I guess. 
And I feel the same way about you, of course. Luna? Is that a scarf on that llama? Huh. Think she ran away again? Uh, excuse me. Speaking for the group, you guys know a llama? Where'd she come from? She's just a goofy llama. A little weird, but nice enough. Don't know if you've looked in the mirror lately, but I'd watch who you're calling Goofy. Everyone get away from my llama. No. Jesse, my rival. Should have known I would find you here. Hush, I'm talking. Yes, it is I. It's been some time since I've seen you, my nemesis. I've dreamt of challenging you again since our last confrontation. Okay. What is going on here? Lucas, this is Stella, the leader of Champion City. This is Jack, Voss, and Radar. Jacques, was it? As in, the legendary champion? So, what exactly are you doing here, Stella? My beautiful city is currently covered in a hideous coat of snow, that's what. I came out to investigate, and surprise, surprise, it's you. If you're smart, you'll undo whatever it is you did and put things right again. Just... wow. Pretending to be a hero again? Just like back in your treasure room? I... no! Just... I am going to fix it. <laughs> well, I believe we have it well covered, miss. We're on our way to find a mighty adversary and set things right. All right, let's say I believe you. I suppose I'll just have to find a way to fix it. It's my world too, after all. You'll see, I'll fix it all on my own. I don't need any of you losers. Whoa, the... The moon is stuck. Okay, that's freaky. So, Stella, you were saying? I was saying that maybe I'll stick around for a bit, just to keep an eye on you. Ugh. I know you said my thing was helping my friends, but I want the record to show she is not my friend. Just FYI. <laughs> You okay, Radar? Yes, yes, totally fine. Guys, shh. We need to keep an eye. Whoa. I'm actually kind of speechless right now. Man, and it's all ice? <laughs> Astounding. <laughs> I know. I'm right there with you, Jack. That is incredible. It's like I was telling you, Radar. Never a dull moment. Hey, found the clock. Oh, perfect. But how are we going to get up there? Well, the admin mentioned challenges. I'm guessing there's going to be, like, obstacles or something when we get... <laughs> Wait, do I have this right? Are you telling me that this admin is so powerful, he built all of this instantly? You sound almost jealous. Almost? Of course I'm jealous of power like that. Power is how the world is run, little man. It's what people respect, what they listen to. That's not how my world works, Stella. There are more important things than who has the most power. Huh, I wonder who he would agree with. Oh, Stella, you'll never change. Oh, I thought I recognized you. You're the quitter who used to work on my inventory management team. Wait, wait, do, do you two know each other? Uh, yeah, I, uh... I used to live in Champion City. What? 
I don't know what he told you to get on this little team, but I don't think he even knows how to use a sword. Oh, you don't know anything, Stella, so zip it. Ooh, how do you put up with that little voice of his, Jesse? I know I never could. Hey, Radar is really brave, all right? Oh, yeah, really super brave, I'm sure. Who even invited you anyway? I'm just telling you, Jesse, I'd be careful about counting on him for anything. Come along, Luna. Thanks, Jesse. I appreciate that. I'm not the person she thinks I am anymore. I've changed. And I can prove it. I can be different. Braver. If that's what the situation requires, I'll do it. As far as I'm concerned, Radar, you don't need to change. You can just be... you. See? And that's what makes you one million times the leader she'll ever be. Would you look at that? Haven't seen anything that grand since the last time I visited the overcompensating builders of Igesh. No kidding! Oh boy, my favorite. Mystery levers. going on. Aha! Hello, everyone! <laughs> please, please gather round. Don't be shy. Here we go again. Oh, look how many of you there are. Lovely. Your choice of company, yeah, I don't know. I mean, this place is really for the best of the best. Not, uh, how do I say this, losers? Mr. Admin, mighty sir, I'm Stella, founder of Champion City. Maybe you've heard of me? No, never. It's actually perfect, Champion. I can see you all have dreams of greatness. It's very cute. This construct before you, it's meant to see who's worthy of that greatness. Separate the strong from the weak. So. We'll see how your little companions do, hey? Eh? You watch it, Admin. Well, don't even worry about it, because my friends here aren't weak. Mm-hmm. Cool. If you say so. Oh, come now, don't be that way. This? This is all for you! New creatures of my own design, as well as mining fatigue at every turn. Wouldn't want you cheating, of course. I don't like rule breakers. It's simple. You all want to get to that clock, but only the best of the best get to partner up with me in the future. But that could be you! Put this place up just for you. I mean, it's pretty... Well, I was going to say pretty cool, but with the whole ice motif, that just seems like I was going for a lame pun, so... Anyway, spectacular though, isn't it? People's lives are at stake here. Can't say I care for your attitude, but that's fine. You'll figure it out soon enough. Nice landing. Ah, uh, it's nothing. It's just my perfect reflexes and photographic muscle memory. Well, that's it then. The way is shut. Yes. Now I suppose the only way out is through. Yeah, and smashing that clock. Well, we're not all going to be smashing the clock. Say what now? You heard the admin. He only wants the best of the best. And that's going to be me. Oh, you've got to be kidding. Sorry, handsome. Might as well quit now. Stella, come on. The admin is dangerous enough as it is. Let's not add to that by fighting with each other. Oh, Jesse, that sort of reverse psychology isn't going to work on me. Especially not for my own rival. I... seriously? <laughs> Thank you.
Jesse, you know anything about this partnership he's offering? Imagine everything you could create, everything you could do with a prize like that. How can we even be certain he's telling the truth? All I know is that I don't trust anything the admin says. Uh, I'd agree with that. Come on, Luna. Enough of these losers. We've got treasure to find. Hey. Treasure sniffing llama. Mm -hmm. Yeah, tell your friends. <laughs> hey now. Oh, that poor llama. What? Hey, don't treat Luna like that. She obviously hates it. I think I know my darling Luna a little better than you do. Let's go, Luna. <laughs> That is certainly a woman who knows what she wants. Are you kidding? She's nuts. Ah, well, no one knows better than me that the admin's traps and constructions mean business. You've got a point there, old friend. I don't want to see anyone else get hurt. Yes. And it's like the admin said. Not everyone here might be uh, up for the task. I mean no offense by it, just uh, stating facts. Then I guess we're just gonna have to prove how wrong the admin is. Ah, <sighs> fine. But if something happens to them, that's on you, not me. Come with me, Jack. Uh, let's try and scope this place out. I'm... I'm gonna go talk to them. Well, I have never been so offended. Not in my whole life. Yeah, that wasn't the coolest. Wasn't the coolest? Oh, no. Misfiling your acacia wood during material organization week isn't the coolest. That was... That was a stripe too far. But just because I'm not some sword-swinging meathead, they think they can just walk all over me. They, they think they, they look at me and my, well, my, my skinny little arms, and, and they think they know me. They think they know me? Well, they are wrong. Dead wrong! I mean... I have been an embarrassment sometimes, but it stops here. It ends today. And I... I, <clears throat> I guess I'm done. Sorry. I need you to remember that out there, the world is stuck in eternal night. There are a lot of scared people back in Beacon Town who are counting on us. You're right. Uh, we were talking and decided that it would be best for everyone if Radar stays here with Lucas while we go get the clock. Uh, that's it, Luna, uh, darling. She's got the clock sent. <laughs> Later, losers. We're wasting time. Wait, it's like Jesse said. We can't trust the admin. Sure, it looks like Luna found something, but that's... Just what the admin wants us to think. You saw the llama! Jesse, you're coming, right? We could really use a hand over here. Gotta go with them. Be safe, okay? If you're sure. Woohoo! I knew you'd make the smart choice!
Everybody okay? Definitely. What a rush. I'm all right. I'm okay. I'm so sorry. I'm okay. Really. Just getting my adventure legs. I'll be better in a minute. Hey, it's okay. Take the time you need. Yeah. We'll wait. No, 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 no. Oh, it's not so bad. I can do this. I gotta say, if you're having a hard time with the minecarts, you might not like what comes next. Hello there, it's me again, your friendly neighborhood admin. <laughs> Pretty proud of this challenge, not gonna lie. I was feeling very inspired by the concept of karma. I'd tell you why, but well, that'd spoil the surprise. I'm sure you understand, right? Real heroes live for surprises. Unexpected dangers. Oh, that's all right. Tell me. I'm cool with spoilers. I just told you I'm not going to spoil the surprise. Just play along here. Let's just say I hope you're feeling good about your archery skills, hmm? Between you and me, though, champion, I'm less worried about your archery than I am about your choice of companions. Let's see if I can shuffle the board a bit, hmm? Give you another pair of hands to help out? Where? How? He's no Jesse. But he's better than that other guy, right? Oh, oh, oh dear. All you need to do is activate the shooting gallery, hit all the targets, and the door will open. <laughs> Easy, right? Okay, but what are those pumpkin heads for? Don't worry, Jesse. We'll figure it out. Bet this will come in handy. in this hopper. Now, I think you need to give him a little more credit. Hey, what you talking about? We were talking about how sometimes you need to just ignore people that are being difficult. Now, Jesse... <laughs> Jesse knows all about that. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Jesse's had to go on adventures with all sorts of people. When someone's being stubborn or not listening to you, you just need to look them dead in the eye and make them listen. I could try that, but I'm not very commanding. Well, <sighs> never mind. <laughs> Thanks, Jesse. Well, I suppose we should get back to figuring this room out, huh? We'll get it. Yeah. have anything to shoot those targets with. I don't have anything to shoot those targets with. Boss, are you okay? Oh! Jesse! It was the most startling thing. One minute there, the next minute, uh, poof. Well, welcome to the party, I guess. Huh. Yeah. I, I know that I haven't been at my best in the time that we've known each other, but I promise, I do know what I'm doing. Don't worry, Voss, I believe you. Everyone's allowed to get a little rusty. I really appreciate that. Thank you. Now come on. Let's solve whatever devious challenge the admin has set before us. This could be our way out of here.
arrows, perfect for shooting targets with. Now I just need a bow. Always good to have string around. A button? Maybe it turns this whole thing on. Sticks from that. Time to meet your maker. some targets, huh? <laughs> he really reminds me of us. You know, back in the day, eager to make his mark. Always ready for whatever's around the next corner. He's lucky to have you, giving him a helping hand and all. Yeah. He'll learn from the best. <laughs> Come on. How do you turn this stupid thing on? <laughs> Looks like he needs our help. All right, Button, you're mine. This is so cool. All right, Lucas, show the admin who he's messing with. You're good. I'm definitely going to steal some of those moves. Here comes round three.
Nice. Not bad. Not bad. You're a fine shot. Almost feels like I made this challenge too easy for you. Oh, wait. No, I'm totally messing with you. Time for level two. <laughs> Hang on! What are you... Oh, man. Look out! Boss! Jesse! Take care of yourself! Follow me! Stage three. wasn't your fault, Radar. Voss has to be somewhere in this place. We'll find him. 
taste my bravery? Well, I figured it was appropriate. That was intense. Would it be weird for me to go in for a hug? Because uh, I'm kind of feeling the hug vibe right now. Maybe? <laughs> oh, wow. You're a good hugger. Petra! Hey, have you guys seen Voss? One second he was with us, and the next, gone! deserves this. Not even Stella. She might be a bit stuck up and she doesn't really treat anyone that nicely, but she's a person too. Even with her many faults. Stella's been totally impossible, but that doesn't mean we shouldn't help her. Ugh, you have a point. Uh, okay, no, 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 no. This is all wrong, people. Wrong! You're not supposed to help each other. The losers are supposed to lose! Like spectacles over here! There was no way Radar would have fought his way out of that room without you! You should have just cut him loose! Jettison that baggage! Seeing someone like you held back by that? Oh, painful! He's as good as any of us. He has just as much right to be here. You convince me. It's not often I give second chances. Uh, one condition, though. Hey, no! Ah, ah, oh, no, 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 no! Oh, man, not good! Ah, ah. No! But he's so small! Let's see how our bucko does on his own, eh? What do you think the chances are without chances? You! Not good. We have to do something. I have to maneuver past all that cacti. Door! You have to get to the door! They are stuck. He, he can't. He's not gonna make it. We can't just stand here. Jesse! Here we go. the door! Jesse! Jesse, I just had a thought. Maybe... Maybe I can do this. Maybe I am a hero. Or not! Uh. Radar! The admin told us to go through this stupid challenge, but maybe we can find another way. Did anyone... Luna? That llama can get to the other side of the wall, so can we. Yeah, we're never punching through that. Anyone got anything to make a pickaxe? I have some sticks. Three diamonds! Sounds like a diamond pickaxe to me. going up and our friends went up and that's where we're headed to uh hate to point out the obvious but we can't climb oh no There! 
What if the admin comes back and finds out we broke his stuff? Yeah, there's no telling how long we have before the admin figures out what we've done. He's gonna be, like, really, really mad. Yeah, no kidding. Hey, he said get to the clock, right? So, we're getting to the clock. Yeah, I guess it's still winning, technically. Hey, look! Jesse! Woo! I don't see Voss, though. Hold tight, we're coming to save you! You better keep my llama safe. Especially from those. Especially from... Oh, more of the admin's freaky mobs. Still can't see Voss. We're gonna have to divide and conquer here, people. One of you go for the clock, one of you come with me and Lucas to rescue the others. Guys, we're running out of time here. <laughs> Petra, I believe in you. Go for the clock. Jack, you come with us. <sighs> okay. Okay. Hey, be careful up there. Right. Luna? Sweetie? <laughs> Smart llama. Luna! But... but why? Jesse, coming to my rescue, just like I dreamt it. I'm so sorry I couldn't get to you back there. I really tried, honest. I blamed you a little bit while I was getting sucked through those horrible pipes. But after some time to think it over, I know it wasn't your fault. Ah, Jesse. You better hustle. Got some real nasty customers coming our way. Oh, I don't like them. Come on, Radar, we gotta get you out fast. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, I got a feeling they won't be gone for long. <clears throat> Jesse. Hello? Stella. I could have found that clock, obviously, but there was some signage that was very confusing. And, well, I, you know, wound up here. <sighs> Kept hoping the admin would drop by so I could explain the confusion, but when we do talk, you better believe that he's gonna realize I am the perfect friend and partner for him. It will be divine. You know, Stella, now that I think about it, you and the admin would be perfect for each other. Jesse, I swear. <laughs> Thank you. I've had a bit of a hard day, and I needed that. Fine. Enough chit-chat. How about you get me on out of here? Really? Wait. What? Huh. Yikes. Jesse wouldn't leave me, of course. Okay, fine. Just don't make me regret it. All right? No, you would. Our fates are intertwined, after all. Who are either of us without the other? Ow. Work, Petra. Come on, guys, let's go give her a hand. Now let's get to. 
to that clock. I'm so proud of you. Uh, help! Crushing lungs! <clears throat> Not to interrupt all the celebrating, but escaping? I can't leave without Voss. Go ahead, guys. We'll catch up. Just... Just hurry, okay? I don't like worrying about you. What's your angle? Waiting around for the admin? I need to find him. Don't worry, Jack. I'm gonna help you. Me too. Thank you. Well, this is a little... disappointing? Foss! Oh, I tried. I really... really did. I... How did you get here, Voss? Oh, Jesse. Jesse, Jesse, Jesse. I, I just don't understand you. Letting your friends go? Radar? <laughs> he clearly wasn't supposed to make it, despite you dragging him along. Losers are supposed to lose, Jesse. Voss, friend, what are you doing? Why are you saying these things? Hang on, I've heard that before. Of course you have. I've been saying it the whole time! <laughs> Not this body, of course. But... <laughs> what? <laughs> Haven't you figured it out yet? You don't! You are a smart cookie, Jesse. Of course I am! Voss... The whole time? No, not the whole time, you nitwit! The real Voss would never have survived in my sea temple that long. I am disappointed, Jesse. You obviously just don't have what it takes to really be my friend. My partner. Such a pity. Such a waste. I just can't believe it! You tricked us! You seriously think that's the way to make friends? Oh, come on. It was kind of exciting, right? Sort of a surprise reveal? Uh, excuse me, Mr. Admin, sir. I just wanted to say that I would love to be your partner. But you... lost. Technically, yes. But unlike them, I actually appreciate what you're offering. You don't say. Stella, I don't know if you've noticed, but what he's offering is absolutely crazy. You can't really mean this. No, but I do, Jesse. Jesse, I really appreciate you saving me. Love ya. Mean it. But you obviously don't understand the magnitude of what this... this paragon is offering. Huh. Uh, Stella, was it? Yes, sir. See, she may not have the skills, but that is a terrific attitude. Your attitude, on the other hand? Oh, well. There's nothing that hurts more than broken hopes. I made this for you. Just for you. And how do you repay me? You cheated! How could you do this to me? Huh? 
How could you do this to us? Oh, that's adorable. They're mad they got manipulated. I should be mad that I had to waste all that time looking like that crusty old adventurer. I gave you so many chances! What? <laughs> it hasn't all been to waste. No, no. You might not be worthy. Technically, Petra here was the winner. Oh, don't get me wrong. There are quite a few flaws we'll have to work through, but we'll get there. In time? No! No, 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 no! Petra! Where did she go? Oh, don't even worry about it. It's not for a loser like you to worry about where the cool people go. Petra! Oh, no! <laughs> like I said, not for you guys to worry about. Let, let, let's, let's be reasonable now. Ugh. You really are just hopeless! I'm done letting you make me feel bad. I prefer to feel good. And I'm gonna feel real good when I send you two to a place where you'll never see the light of day. Ever. Again. No! Daisy! You must be a special class of trouble to end up here. The admin. Well, this is where he sends the people who he has special plans for. You may have noticed, it's not a very nice place. And the people? Well, they're not very nice either. <laughs>